I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Athletics vs. Braves My team pick is Braves minus 1.5 runs Atlanta has struggled following Ronald Acuna Jr. being injured for the rest of the season, but this is a good spot for the Braves to return to the win column. Oakland is 10-18 as a road underdog before Thursday's game, while Atlanta is 17-10 as a home favorite. The Braves have hit lefties well and should be able to pile up the runs, while Lopez has been dominant this season and should limit the Athletics offense. Take the Braves with the run line. My total pick is under 8.5 runs. The under is also a good spot in this game, as Lopez will really limit the athletic offense, while Atlanta has struggled to put up many runs without Acuna and a limited sample size. Both pitchers have also been solid as of late, as they won't give up too many hits or runners, while this season, Oakland is 28-26-3 in hitting the under, while Atlanta is 30-21-3, which is the third best under record in the MLB. Take the under. White Sox vs. Brewers. My team pick is Brewers minus 1.5 runs. These starting pitchers in this game have been struggling, but there is a slight difference as Eric Fed is 0 to 1 with a 5.47 ERA and a 1.33 whip in 5 road starts, 26.1 innings, while Tobias Myers is 0 to 0 with a 5.00 ERA and a 1.33 whip in a pair of home starts, 9.0 innings. There is a significant difference between these teams' ability to convert with runners and scoring position as the White Sox are last in the majors with a .577 team OPS in those situations, while the Brew Crew are second with a .874 team OPS. All in all, go with the Milwaukee Brewers to win at home. My total pick is over 7.5 runs. When looking at May, these pitchers are doing better but are still giving up runs. Eric Fed is 2-1 with a 3.03 ERA and a .209 opposing batting average in 29.2 innings, 5 starts, while Tobias Myers is 1-1 with a 4.38 ERA and a .271 batting average against in 12.1 innings, 4 games, 3 starts. The Brewers have been one of the best offensive teams in the majors and that should carry the offenses to score well. Go with over 7.5 runs in this game as the better option. Padres vs. Royals My team pick is Padres to win These are two of the best teams in all of Major League Baseball and things are going to be interesting, to say the least. When looking at how these starting pitchers have been performing throughout May, there is a small difference. Dylan Cease is 2-2 with a 3.90 ERA and a 6.42 walk-to-strikeout ratio in 30.0 innings, 5 starts, while Michael Wacha is 3-2 with a 4.40 ERA and a 10.26 walk-to-strikeout ratio in 28.2 innings, 5 starts. Even when looking at the bullpens throughout the season, there is a sizable difference between the bullpen's effectiveness thus far. San Diego is 7th in the majors with a 3.57 reliever ERA while Kansas City is 18th in the sport with a 4.05 bullpen ERA so far. All in all, go with the San Diego Padres to win this game. My total pick is over 8.5 runs. During May, both offenses have been doing well enough to produce a good amount of runs. The Royals are second in Major League Baseball with a .753 team OPS in that span while the Padres are 16th in the sport with a .701 team OPS in the calendar month. The ability to do well throughout the final three innings of the game is critical and shows these teams are not going to roll over and just not score runs. When looking at the ability to get on base from the seventh inning onwards, 
San Diego is 10th in baseball with a .326 team on base percentage while Kansas City is even better at 8th in the sport with a .329 team on base percentage this season in those innings. Go with over 8.5 runs in this game as the better option here as these are two outstanding offenses this year. Twins vs. Astros My team pick is Astros plus 1.5 runs the Houston Astros, currently ranked third in the AL West with a record of 25-32, have been performing consistently on the offensive end with an average of 4.41 runs scored and 8.91 hits collected per game. With a team batting average of .259 and a team on base percentage of .324, the Astros have proven to be a formidable force at the plate. However, their point differential of minus 8 this season indicates room for improvement. On the defensive side, opponents have been able to score an average of 4.55 runs and collect 8.21 hits against the Astros. This has resulted in opponents having a batting average of .245 and an on-base percentage of .330 against them. The Houston Astros have had a mixed performance against the run line this season, with a record of 25-32 in all games with a betting line. However, at home, they have managed to cover the run line in 12 out of 29 games. After a win, their record against the run line stands at 9-15. Despite these numbers, the Astros have shown improvement in their recent games, covering the run line in their last two games and four of their last seven games. I like the recent run line trends for the Astros. In addition, the pitching matchup lends a significant advantage to the Astros. Go with the Astros in this big-time American League matchup. The Minnesota Twins have been performing well in the current season, currently ranking third in the AL Central Division with a record of 31-25. With an average of 4.38 runs and 7.76 hits per game, the team has shown their prowess on the field. The Twins have maintained a team batting average of .233 and an impressive on-base percentage of .305. Additionally, the team has a positive run differential of plus two, showcasing their ability to outscore their opponents. However, the Twins have faced tough competition, with their opponents scoring an average of 4.35 runs and collecting 8.25 hits per game. Despite this, the Twins have held their opponents to a batting average of .244 and an on-base percentage of .301. The Minnesota Twins have had a somewhat inconsistent performance this season when it comes to covering the run line in their games. With a record of 25-31 in all games with a betting line, the Twins have shown some difficulty in consistently meeting the expectations set by oddsmakers. However, in their 27 road games this season, the Twins have managed to cover the run line in 14 of those games, indicating a stronger performance away from home. After a win, the Twins have an even record of 15-15 against the run line, further highlighting their unpredictable nature. In their most recent games, the Twins have struggled to cover the run line, failing to do so in their last two games and only managing to cover it twice in their last eight games. My total pick is Under 8 runs the Houston Astros have had a relatively low number of games go over the posted total this season, with only 21 out of 57 games exceeding the set limit. When playing at home, the Astros have seen a slightly higher number of games go over the posted total, with 12 out of 29 games surpassing the set limit. After a win, the Astros have seen 8 out of 24 games go over the posted total. However, in their last six games, the Astros have experienced a trend of games going under the posted total. On the other hand, the Twins have seen a higher number of games go over the posted total this season, with 25 out of 61 games exceeding the set limit. In their 27 road games, the Twins have seen 14 games go over the posted total. While their last game did go over the posted total, the Twins have only had two out of their last eight games surpass the set limit. Recent low-scoring trends by both teams along with this particular pitching matchup make this a solid under bet. Go under the posted total in this big league battle in Texas. Rockies vs. Dodgers My team pick is Dodgers minus 1.5 runs Dakota Hudson will take the hill for his 11th start of the season Friday evening. 
Last week, Hudson allowed two runs on five hits and a walk while striking out two over six innings in a no decision versus the Phillies on Saturday. Hudson had arguably his best outing of the season against one of the best teams in the majors and will face another elite offense. It is safe to say he got lucky against the Phillies, and it was only the third time in 10 starts he made it to the sixth inning. The Dodgers are in the top five in OPS, and Mookie Betts is starting to break out of his mini slump. Take the Dodgers to hop on Hudson early and Bueller to bounce back from his mediocre outing last week. My total pick is... Over. Walker Bueller looked a bit rusty last week in a start against the Reds, giving up three runs on six hits and one walk while striking out four over 5.2 innings. Bueller did not have his best stuff last week, and according to Yahoo.com, he induced only six swings and misses on 91 pitches and also served up a pair of solo homers. Spencer Steer slugged a homer in the first inning, and Will Benson blasted another in the second. Colorado is playing well after a dismal 8-28 start, and I expect them to tag him for three or four runs in this one. The Dodgers will put up a big number on Hudson as well. Angels vs. Mariners My team pick is Mariners to win The Mariners had won four in a row before dropping their last game, and the Angels have lost two in a row and five of their last six games. Seattle is atop the AL West while LA is in the basement and this is the first meeting of these division rivals this season. The M's have had issues at the dish this season but rank in the top 10 in Team ERA. On the other side of the coin, the Angels only rank 18th in runs scored and 28th in Team ERA. Wu had his worst start of the season in his last one but still only gave up 3 runs. Soriano gave up four runs in his last start, but was solid in the two before that. Wu will have the better outing, and it helps that Seattle has the better bullpen with LA ranking third to last in the bigs and bullpen ERA. The Mariners will win, once again, with pitching in their lineup will do just enough to get the W. My total pick is... Under 7.5 runs. Even with the total set low in this game at 7.5 runs, I am leaning towards the under. The Mariners only ranked tied for 28th in the majors in runs scored and they were shut out in their last game. The Angels rank 18th in that category and they have only totaled 4 runs in their last 2 games. Wu has been solid this season and will have another good outing in his first one of the season facing the Mariners. Soriano will have a pretty good outing as well, but will be handing the ball off to a bullpen that ranks 28th in bullpen ERA. Still, Seattle will not score many runs at all nor will the Angels, so in a low-scoring affair the under is the way to go. Yankees vs. Giants My team pick is Giants to win These starting pitchers have been very similar, but the remainder of the rosters are on two completely different levels thus far. There is a significant difference in terms of the ability to hit as New York is best in Major League Baseball with a .770 team OPS while San Francisco is tied with the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers for 14th place with a .696 team OPS thus far. Even the bullpens are on two completely different levels as the Yankees are second in baseball with a 2.98 reliever ERA while the Giants are down at 22nd in the sport with a 4.34 bullpen ERA. All in all, go with the New York Yankees to pick up a win. My total pick is under 7.5 runs. These starting pitchers have been doing extremely well at limiting the amount of hits they are giving up. Marcus Stroman has pitched to a .218 opposing batting average thus far, while Jordan Hicks is giving up a .209 batting average so far this season. Despite the teams having the ability to score runs, lately, they are not doing too well. San Francisco is averaging 4.67 runs in their last six games, while New York is scoring 3.8 runs in their previous five games. Go with under 7.5 runs in this game as the better option here. 